uh, polar bonds. Now let's talk about nonpolar bonds. So a nonpolar bond is a covalent bond in which the bonding electrons are shared equally. And the classic example is a bond in which both of the atoms in the bond are the same. Then there is a no difference in electronegativity. Uh, then the difference in electronegativity, well, let's see. So each fluorine atom has a 4.0 electronegativity score. That means that the delta En is zero. And that is the uh, definition of a nonpolar bond. Delta En is zero. Uh, there are a couple other cases. And for this class, uh, one case that comes up uh, relatively frequently is a bond between nitrogen and chlorine. Both of those have electronegativity scores of 3.0, although if you peel away more layers of the chemistry onion, you will see there's a slight difference between them. Uh, but for us, there is no difference. So this would be a nonpolar bond as well. You can go deeper into uh, nonpolar into uh, polar versus nonpolar uh, about how polar a bond is. If you do that, then you use something called the dipole moment, which is lowercase Greek letter mu, and mu is equal to Q times R, where Q is the charge sep is the uh, charge. And R is the distance of separation between uh, the or, uh, distance of separation for the charge. And if you multiply those two together, you can think of uh, this as being the dipole moment. It's the charge times the distance, whereas uh, the difference in electronegativity is a more qualitative or semi-quantitative idea of how polar a bond is. This takes into effect the actual sizes of the atoms involved as well. And, um, but we won't need that. That's uh, a layer of the chemistry onion that is deeper than we need to go in this course, although you will see it if you take future um, or more advanced chemistry courses. Now let's talk about bonding a continuum. So we've talked about polar covalent bonds, nonpolar covalent bonds, and ionic bonds. And at least one definition of the difference between them is in terms of differences in electronegativity. And if we start here and draw a line uh, and so this is going to be difference in electronegativity of zero. We've said that that is the definition of a nonpolar covalent bond. And a typical definition of a uh, the polar covalent bond versus an ionic bond says that when the difference of electronegativity is two or greater, those are ionic bonds. And between 0 and 1.9, those are polar covalent bonds. Or let's say this, 0 0.1 to 1.9, that's the range of polar covalent bonds. And just so you know, so uh, uh, the world in chemistry is broken into, at least in this course, two types of bonds, ionic bonds and covalent bonds. And further, covalent bonds is broken into polar bonds and nonpolar bonds. And we will talk more 
uh, once we talk about geometry and molecular geometry, about how to tell when a molecule is polar or nonpolar. So far, all we've got is nonpolar uh, molecules and polar molecules with a single bond.